Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to order the best settings for the NVIDIA control panel for gaming on your system and how we can do this. So let me directly get into a step. First one is all about what we need to do. Is first, go over here, right click somewhere else. Go to show more options and directly navigate to the NVIDIA control panel. That's going to take you to this. Now the NVIDIA control panel launches. And the first and foremost step is all about what we need, what we need, what we need to do is just go over here, click on adjust image setting, settings with preview. And now we have following options. You can go to use my preference emphasizing, click on this one. So if you're having a high end PC, you can keep this on quality. If you're having a medium level PC, you can keep this on balanced one. If you're having a low end PC, you can scroll this to the performance one. It all depends on your PC's configuration. For a normal or lower end PC, you can keep this over here. If you're on the medium PC with enough configuration, you can keep this here. And if you're on the with high one, you can keep this here. That is what you have to do as the first one. And after setting this up, we can keep this over here as per it means. And once done, you can directly go over here, click on manage 3D settings. And this is where we need to make a lot of settings. First one is over here. If you go to the global setting, you can see we have image scaling, ambient occlusion, etc. So we have to set this one by one. We have various options. So what I'm saying is for the image scaling can be set into off. That is fine with it. You don't have to change it. Make sure the ambient occlusion can be set into over here. If you go to the ambient occlusion, you can set this to performance based on your PC's configuration. So if you're having a low end PC, then what I'm saying is you can keep this on performance one. If you're having a high end PC, you can keep this on quality or you can keep this on. If you're having a low end PC, keep this on off. So in my case, I'm having a low end PC, so I'm going to keep this over here. The next one, anisotropic filtering, you can keep this as it is. Now scroll down a little bit over here. You can navigate one by one. Regarding this one, the gamma correction over here, you can set this to on. Make sure this is completely turned on. The gamma correction should be turned on. The anti-aliasing mode should be turned off. You can set this to completely turn this off. Then you can check. Then if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there is various options. And for the low latency mode, if you check over here for the low latency mode, you can either keep this on off. What I'm saying is if you're having a high end PC, you can change this to ultra. If you're having a medium end PC, keep this on on. Or if you're having a low end PC, keep this on off. And regarding the maximum frame rate, you can keep this off as well. And also, even if you scroll down, you might be able to see something called open GLGDA compatibility. In most cases, this might be set into auto. So if you're having a high and or medium uh, one, you can set this on NVIDIA, like which means auto, but you can go for preferred performance or compatible. What I'm saying is we can keep this on auto in the sense it is on the NVIDIA. Then you can check regarding the power management. Most probably that might kept into maximum preferences based on your PC. So if you're having a low end PC, keep this on optimal power. If you're having a high end PC, keep this on preferred maximum preferences and you can check. Next one regarding the shader cache, if you scroll down, you'll be able to find it. So this might be set into driver default. What I'm saying is you can keep this on the same, keep this on the driver default. Regarding the texture filtering, over here you can see we have various options like quality for the quality over here, texture filtering quality. Either you can keep this on performance or you can high performance. What I'm saying is keep this on performance and you can check that might work. Last one, if you go to the vertical sync, most probably that might set into use the 3D application setting. Let it be for both all high end, low and medium end PC. You can keep this over here. Now we can close this. Before that, make sure that you change, made all the changes here. Then you can check. Still, if you're having the trouble, sorry, right click. There is one more thing which I forgot. You need to go to the NVIDIA control panel. Now just wait for this to get completely load up. Once you set this up, you can just go to the configure Saron X. Now from here, you can see. This is me selected to this. So change this one to NVIDIA Geoforce GDS 1650 Super. Once you change to this, you can close this and you can check. These are the best settings for the NVIDIA control panel. And I hope this kick really is helpful. That's it. Bye bye.